Chef Chucks, it's me, my Chef Chuck, and welcome to another box makeover. Today I'll empty this out and I'll make a special box for a friend in real life. I will not mention the situation he's in or the name in public. I just want to make him feel better without mentioning the thing that happened to in public domain. Just want to make him happy by making him a box makeover episode. So the first thing I'm going to do is empty the beads out into something else. Just a little more. And we have a blank canvas to work with. Okay, so I kind of want a translucent base, so I'm going to remove the sticker with peanut butter. I will not show this step, but I'll just use it. Okay. The peanut butter part has been done. And that's what we have to work with. So... I have found this sticker and I want to use it. However, I will trim its shape. Oh wow, look, I've trimmed its shape and there's holes where I can put something in there. Maybe that's what I'm going to try. Maybe some beads or something. Okay, so I'm going to stuff in some random colorful beads. I've removed the sticker part and I'm going to mark it with a glue where I'm going to glue that on. So, glue. And time for a little bit of beads. Hopefully they'll not get glued because I kind of want a shaker feature in it. So I'm trying to keep it in the center. Okay, time for the yellow fish-like thing to go in. Hopefully it will glue without the beads because the beads... Or could it just look good without the shaker feature inside the fish? Because the fish features will get covered up anyways. So, there's that. So, I'm going to add some beads outside it. So... I'm going for a design there, so I will just gradually use yellow and clear 
beads to make this like white beads or whatever it's called so let's add it in Just the noises, just so I could pick the beads that I'm going to use. I can still smell the peanut butter. I don't like its taste, but I like the smell of it. Maybe the scent will go away with time. It's just while I was working on it, I could smell it as part of the process even though part of the process was gluing on those beads so I've decided to do a pineapple character but this time more of a canary yellow type of pineapple character using this box so that's what I'm doing however to emphasize on it, I have to get the eye sequence to add eyes just so I could remember the theme for the rest of the process what it is, like put a face with eyes, glue. eyes like the base for the eyes and I'm going to apply beads like the yellow beads because it's one of the friends that likes the color yellow So, sprinkling it all over. Making sure all the beads are yellow. And I'm going to trim some sequins for the pineapple shape. Okay.
also here. Maybe a little bit of green added to the mix of beads. Because I kind of also want to make a dress for the character. So. Or something like clothing so I may leave space for that beads glued on time to let this all dry I've let it dry and I've started doing the eyes so I will now cover up the lettering on some of the beads. However, the shaker part doesn't move, but that's okay. And some beads fell out. That's okay. Okay, so... That's Canaria the Pineapple. Now I'm going to color the box yellow. To add more color to it. Everything is the same color. Maybe not everything, but most things there. Okay, maybe I should have left the pineapple. Thing dry. But okay. Okay. That's colored yellow. Now we're going to let things dry and then make clothing. For Canaria, I'm going to make a dress. I'm going to ruffle the top of it. And I'm going to do buttons so it's removable. I ever before sewing, I'm just doing raw silk colored dots all over it and I will also do canary yellow ones all over it as well
And once that is done, sew it. Dress stitched. However, I think it needs a little bit more detailing. I have to cut it a little bit for the sake of the shape. So, I have leftover fabric that I can use to turn it into a candy dress. I've added the candy wrapper dress and the wrapper dress made out of fabric is covering her mouth and it won't stay in the desired position but still there's a solution to this problem that's right the press stud i'm going to glue one here and before that i'll just remove the dress glue it on Time to let it dry and while it's drying I'm going to apply it to the dress by stitching it on with a design so it looks pretty on the side that the person getting it will see it on. So, I'm stitching on with a green thread and the knots are like this for the purpose of the pineapple leaves. the pineapple leaves will be green because I've got inspired by some candy to do this project so that's what we have if my camera please focus it won't focus, but okay. And I have some leftover green thread, which I will glue near the knot that I've done for the sewing part. Okay, so now it's time to do the pineapple. So, I'm going to use this button and I will color it tan skin to give it more of a pineapple-like color. And once that is done, stitch it on and stitch around the button in a pineapple-like pattern. Now I'll go over that marker again. So I could color correct everything on this button, including the stitches that look like a pineapple. Pineapples! done. Now, I'm going to check on the press stud. And it has dried. Now, I'm going to put the dress on the pineapple. And chef tags, that's the finished product. 
of Canaria the Pineapple. I will be giving this away to a friend. And if you are watching this, I hope you enjoy it. And other people, please tell me what you think in the comments. And bye Chef Jack, see you in another video, bye!